Hello and welcome to the Riverside here in Middlesbrough. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and I'm joined for analysis by Stuart Robson. And what we have for you is live action from the Championship. It's Middlesbrough and they take on Birmingham City. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, he's very much a confidence player, and at the moment his confidence must be high. Three goals in the last three games, and I think he's got every chance of scoring another one today. A look at the starting 11 for Middlesbrough. Well, it's a defensive looking lineup, but if the wing backs break forward, the midfield can get close to the front pair and the front two can link up with each other, they should still cause problems today. Here's the lineup for Birmingham City. Well, they're matching up here, so this will be about which wing backs can dominate and how the front combinations play. It should be a good contest, though. And they kick off here. Johnny Housen. Tahit Chong. And fed forwards. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Well, not troubling the goalkeeper at all there. And from that sort of distance, you should be troubling the goalkeeper. Technique let him down there. Moving forward effectively. Can they nudge in front? It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. And given away. Has eyes for goal. And that's sound goalkeeping. Playing it short. Big chance. Quajeta. Oh, terrific pass. Possession changing hands. Well, beating his opponent. Oh, my goodness, what a strike from so far out. Absolutely sensational. Unstoppable. Well, let's take another look because this is a special goal. He's so far out when he strikes it. He couldn't have hit that any better.
So underway again here, one nil the score. And making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. Well, that's the end of that move for now. Mark Roberts. Christian Bielik. Just made sure nothing came of that. Zini. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Acres of space for Bora out wide. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. And they did have the ball, but not anymore. Dale Fry. Oh, he's given us away. Dini. Christian Bielik. Not a good tackle. Johnny Housen. McGree. And teammates to play it to. They've given it away. As you can see, the visitors have had much less of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. Oh, it might be! And he's done it! Parate again! A magnificent game unfolding! Well, I have to say, this is a really good goal. Just watch his technique here. He just hits through the back of the ball with such power. There's no stopping that. And there it is. That brings to an end the first half here in Middlesbrough. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, it was a vital goal and at a crucial time, you have to say. Certainly changes the complexion of the game now, but it's whether they can take the momentum into the second half, as they've struggled at times today. Underway then in the second half. And the two teams matching each other just about stride for stride. Zini. Will it lead to the goal that puts them ahead? Well, no examination at all for the goalkeeper. And on that basis, he's going to be a bit cross with himself. Christian Bielik. I must say, this looks promising. A oh, disappointing end to the move. Mowat. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And support available. 
Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And nothing positive comes of it, unfortunately. And successfully cut out. 30 minutes left for play. And he's clear as lines. Careless in possession. Really sitting deep now. That could be problematic. Johnny Housen. And slipped through beautifully. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Textbook defending inside the box. Hogan. Into the final 20 minutes. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? Well, the threat was very real. Marvellous defending. Dini. Chung. Moving the ball forward with purpose. It's got to be. And a goal it is to put them in front again. No less than they deserve. Well, we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Mowat and here they come still pressing for an equaliser element of risk there but he's won the ball Well, this game will shortly be history and the home side appear to be on the wrong end of the scoreline. Stuart, give us your... Well, it's been a fairly even match, but at key moments, they've just been second best. They could have defended better for the goals and they've missed opportunities at the... up. That could cost them at this late stage. Well, that should have been the equaliser. I'm not sure they'll get another chance now. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. They're showing a willingness to attack, as they must, given the circumstances. Time running out. And we are going to have two additional minutes. Plenty of support here. Hogan. Has a go! Oh, a tremendous block. If they can score again from this corner, it probably would be the end of the story. Who can they pick out? And a goal! They lead by two now. And that allows them to breathe a bit more easily.
Well, here you can see it again. It's a superb cross, just asking for someone to go and meet it. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And there it is, the final whistle. Not what the home fans were hoping for before a ball was kicked today. Defeat for them. Well, Derek, I thought it was a subpar performance from them. Just didn't look as sharp as normal. And I don't think they deserved anything from the game. They need to get a better performance in next time out. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, I have to say, that was impressive. Not just his goals, but his all-round play. He was excellent.